My goal in today's lesson is to help you guys understand what the X and Y intercept is. It's a good tool to have in your tool belt when we're talking about graphing. It gives you another option, another way of graphing a linear equation. Let's understand what the X and Y intercept is. If I want to find my X intercept, that means I'm going to be finding where my linear equation intercepts my X axis, meaning where it crosses it. Remember the example about a football, if you intercept a pass, you kind of crisscross its path. We want to find the y-intercept. We're talking about the y-axis and where it intercepts or crosses the path of our linear equation. Let's see that. If I ever want to find the x-intercept, I always plug in a 0 for y. If I ever want to find the y-intercept, I always plug a 0 in for x. It's easier to see. I understand that, so let's see it. I'm going to go ahead and find the x-intercept first. Therefore, I substitute a 0 in for y. So let's rewrite the equation, 4x plus y, but instead we're going to write a 0. So plus 0 is equal to 8. Now I know that 4x plus 0 just gives me 4x, and that equals 8. So let's isolate the variable by dividing by 4, and we get x is equal to 2. Okay, very important that you guys have it in an order pair. So now we know that the x is 2, and what is our y? Our y is 0, because we substituted in a 0 for y. Now let's see that on a graph. The point 2, 0, we always start at the point of origin, and I go 2 on my x, and I don't move on my y because it's a 0. So that's where my x intercepts at. And that makes sense, because remember, the x intercept is always going to lie on our x axis. All right, let's go ahead and do our y-intercept now. And again, when we find our y-intercept, what do we do? That's right, I hope you guys are saying substitute a 0 in for x. All right, so I rewrite my equation and I put a 0 in for x, so 4 times x, or 4 times 0, plus y is equal to 8. Now 4 times 0 is 0, so I'm just left with y is equal to 8. And remember, when we're talking about x and y intercepts, you want to rewrite the order pair, and your x was 0, and your y now is 8. So let's see where that's on the graph. I don't move at all on my x because it's 0, but I do go up on my y to a positive 8, which is up. So right there is where my y-intercept's at. It makes sense, right? It must lie on the y-axis. Now. You, I told you guys in the beginning I was adding another tool to your tool belt so you guys can learn how to graph. Well, you're saying right now, great, you have two points. How does that help me? Well, we can connect our x-intercept and our y-intercept, and that's actually going to graph our linear equation. So let's do that. Take your ruler and go ahead and connect those two points. And let's see what we end up with. You will see here, make sure you put your arrows at the end, that we end up with our linear equation. So this line actually represents 4x plus y, which is equal to 8. How did we do that? We found the x-intercept, or where this line crosses or intercepts my x-axis, and we found the y-intercept, which is where our line intercepts the y-axis. Hey, go ahead and graph it this way from now on. It's pretty easy.